Today's lesson is lesson 12, place value through the trillions and multi-step problems. So here we have our whole number place values from the ones to the trillions. So we go ones, tens, hundreds. We call these our units. Then we have thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So of course these are our thousands. Millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Billions, ten billions, hundred billions. And trillions, ten trillions, and hundred trillions. Okay. So it's important to remember that for each set of numbers, it always goes the number itself, so millions, or one millions. One, ten, hundred. One, ten, hundred. 1, 10, 100. And that's how we do our place values for the whole numbers. So here it says in the number, in this big number, which digit is in the 10 millionth place? So I'm going to go ahead and write it out here so we can take a closer look at it. So first I need to figure out where the millions are. So if we remember from our part over here. This first section is our units. Then we have our thousands. And then our millions. So I know my answer has to be in here somewhere. I'm looking for the 10 millions place. So remember it goes millions, 10 millions, 100 millions. So the 5 is the number in the 10 millions place. So this one, in this number, what is the place value of the digit 4? So we're going to write it out. And remember we have our units, thousands, and millions. So the 4 is in the thousands, and it's in the one thousandths place. So we would say this is the thousands or you could say the one thousands place. So this wants us to use words to write this number. Okay. To do that, I need to put in some commas to help me figure out what place values these are in. So I'm going to write it down first and put in my commas. So commas go every third number. So one, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. All right, so we have our units, thousands, and millions. So to write the number, we're going to go left to right to figure out our number. So first we have one million, comma. Now I don't write anything that's a zero. So I'm going to skip over that and do the next thing is 24,000. So I'm going to write 24,000, comma, and then the last part, which is 300 five. And that's how we write our numbers. So next one says use digits to write the number 1,250,000,000,000. So sometimes when we're writing big numbers, it helps to sketch the pattern before we start. So we have our units, comma, thousands, comma, millions, comma, ooh, I need to scoot it over. I don't have quite enough room. So units, thousands, millions, billions, comma, trillions. All right, so I have one trillion. So that's going to go in the trillions place one. 250 billion. So here's the billions, 250 billion. And then I don't have any other numbers. So that means the rest of these units are going to be filled in with zeros. So my answer is one trillion, 250 billion.
And you have to make sure to put all the zeros in there, otherwise it won't be in the right place value. Okay, so when we have multi-step problems, we need to know the operations of arithmetic, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the terms we used for the answers. So the sum is the answer when we add. Okay, difference is the answer when we subtract. Product is the answer when we multiply and quotient is the answer when we divide. And it helps to use parentheses on these problems. So here we have, what is the difference, difference between the product of six and four and the sum of six and four? Okay. So what I need to do is we have difference and I want the difference between these two sets of numbers. So I'm going to put my subtraction, because the difference is subtraction, and I'm going to fill in the extra, the other numbers. So the difference between the product of 6 and 4. Well, product is times. So that's going to be 6 times 4. And the parentheses just help me to remember the order. And then we have the sum of 6 and 4. Okay. So the sum of 6 and 4, sum is add, so it would be 6 plus 4. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do these problems. 6 times 4 is 24 minus 6 plus 4 is 10. So 24 minus 10 is 14. Now we have this next problem. When the product of 6 and 4 is divided by the difference of 6 and 4, what is the quotient? So in this case, I'm going to have my parentheses. And I want to know the quotient at the end, so that's divide. Okay. So my first number is the product of 6 and 4. So that's going to be 6 times 4. And then in my second parentheses, we have the difference of 6 and 4. Difference is subtract, so we're going to do 6 minus 4. Now I can go ahead and solve this problem. 6 times 4 is 24. Put my division symbol. 6 minus 4 is 2. So I have 24 divided by 2, which is 12. And that's my answer. Hey, and that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.